Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another showcase video. The series where I showcase either my sneaker, streetwear or sometimes even jewellery collections on the channel. Now in today's video I'm going to be showcasing my jewellery collection. But before I start showcasing my entire jewellery collection to you guys, I've got to thank you guys. <laughs> so over the past couple of uploads, uh, I asked if we could hit the subscriber milestone of 3,330 subs. Uh, you guys came through through this weekend and helped the channel reach that milestone and actually surpassed it. We were so close to 3333. Three, three, three. But we're one sub off <laughs> just one just one we were so close but uh yeah pretty crazy stuff guys i i wanted to just take a quick moment out of this video at the start to thank the public and the private subscribers i wouldn't have been able to hit three 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 zero without your guys support um i'm gonna set us a new subscriber milestone um for this month um can we see if we can hit three 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 five before the end of may we are quite close, so hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. And now we can get into it, guys. Now we can start talking about it. I am going to be showcasing my entire jewelry collection in this video today. Uh, as requested by you, uh, a regular commenter by the name of Gobjex or Go or G Objects. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know how to pronounce it, but because it's split up, I just go Gobjex. I honestly, you could correct me if I'm wrong with that one there, Gob, but uh, yeah, Gob asked if uh, I could showcase my entire jewelry collection on the channel, and yeah, I, of course, I, I, any requests that you guys have for videos, chuck them in that comment section below, and if they're doable and align with, you know, stuff on the channel, I'd be more than happy to. Um, I don't actually have a super extensive jewelry collection, I kind of just wear the same stuff all the time, but... In saying that, recently my contract for my full-time job uh, just ended and I've now moved to a casual contract which means I've basically lost half my pay but I did get a little payout for my annual leave and stuff like that. So there's actually some more jewelry on the way with that annual leave payout. <laughs> I didn't spend it all obviously, I invested some and saved some but I did buy a little bit of jewelry with it so as much as this is my entire collection now, there will be some more on the way so the jewelry collection is constantly growing uh, and I'll be unboxing it on the channel so maybe further down the line I'll have to do an update on you know what I have in my jewelry collection at the moment but uh, yeah either way even though I don't have an extensive amount I'll showcase to you what I got and where I got it from if I can remember I mean every piece of I guess significant jewelry that I'm going to be showcasing has been unboxed on the channel so if I can't remember where it came from there's an unboxing video out there somewhere of me to unboxing it. <laughs> well, guys, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Um, I think I'll just try and do it uh, in chunks of, you know, uh, branded pieces and then the random stuff at the end, potentially. So uh, let's just jump right in and I guess we'll start talking about the Alix pieces that I have in my jewelry collection. Um, I think that's probably the best way to go about it. The first branded section there, I'll just take it all off. Um, God, it feels really weird already. I feel, I feel so naked now. <laughs> like, there's nothing on my wrist, there's nothing on my neck. Ugh, it's a weird feeling. Yeah, um, well, as I mentioned, these pieces in particular, I wear all the time. Literally every day. There's not a single day that I don't wear these, and I wear them for 12 plus hours. These got heaps and heaps of wear. These both came out in the spring-summer 2020 season. This bracelet, um, we'll dive into the bracelet first, is the Cubix Mini Bracelet in the large, extra large size from the Spring Summer 2020 collection. I'll try and showcase that to you best I can there. There we go. Shaking a bit because I probably had a bit too much coffee today. But yes, here it is. Um, it is a silver coated, don't know if it's, I don't know what type of silver, or any what kind of, you know, uh, blend of silver that is. Uh, and then it is actually brass. Now, a lot of people think that for the price tag or that they think because Alix is a designer brand that they would use sterling silver. Um, no, they do not. Uh, and I've talked about that many times on the channel when I've done a review for this bracelet, when I've talked about this bracelet and any of their jewelry. 
As you can see, if I bring it up really, really close to the camera, it is incredibly scratched and you can start to see some of the brass come through. I'm gonna slowly turn it over where it's really, really worn and hopefully the camera will pick that up unless it, for some reason, brightens for whatever reason. Well, I can't seem to get it to focus as much as I want it to, but yeah, uh, essentially it is silver coated. It is not actually completely silver. So don't go buying into A-League Studios if you think it is sterling silver, no. But um, is it still worth it? Absolutely, I wear this as I've expressed all the time for like 12 hours a day. I've worn it everywhere, I've worn it into mosh pits, I've worn it to concerts, I've worn it to clubs. I've, there's, I don't even have like a specific scenario or outfit for it. I literally just wear it day to day. It is my day to day jewelry. Absolutely love this bracelet. I think you'd, I, I would class it as my first ever designer jewelry piece. Uh, and yeah, I fell in love with it. A bracelet was a big move for me because I was always wearing rings, but um, I'd never worn a bracelet before and I did feel a little bit, I guess, off wearing a bracelet initially, but now that I wear it all the time, it just feels like another accessory that I'm chucking on. But I, I don't know, I guess if you've never worn bracelets before, you may have that same feeling of feeling, I guess, off or not right for the first couple wears, but eventually you get used to rocking bracelets. I mean, maybe it's just a dude thing, but absolutely love this bracelet. Um, I think it's a seasonal piece. I don't think it's a seasonal piece. I think it's um, constantly released. So if you buy the, what, the spring summer 2022 season one, I think it's just gonna be the exact same. I don't think they change it too much. I don't think they've changed their materials. Uh, yeah, look, if this was to ever break, Maybe I would consider picking up the latest season one as a replacement, but um, I think I'd probably move on to Chrome Hearts uh, as uh, for a bracelet alternative uh, if this one was to ever break. But it's pretty indestructible. Like, I've been really, really harsh on this. Um, I, I've not been easy on it, and it's held up. It hasn't fallen apart. It hasn't broken. Really, really solid piece. Uh, moving into my second Elite Studios piece, we have the Buckle Necklace from the same season and I'll get the box up that I have for that one. So it's the uh, 1017 Alix 9SM buckle necklace, uh, size universal, spring summer 2022 there. So that's the box there. They, they all come in these uh, embossed recycled cardboard like boxes with a little suede bag. Um, it's nothing too crazy, but uh, just if you were interested in that. Uh, yeah, again, silver covered brass um we can i guess really see that on probably where the um pendant is on that and i'll see if i can bring it up to the camera as much as possible and have a focus on that if, if i can yeah so i've worn it quite extensively i don't know if you'll be able to see the brass coming through where I've worn it. Um, a little bit of a warning, you got to be careful because, I mean, I, get, I, I don't consider myself to have quite a thick neck, but this is 19 inches in total length. It's quite a small necklace in the grand scheme of necklaces. And um, if you wear it under some heavy clothing, the pendants can sometimes bend. So if you can get one that's a full Cuban Lynx chain instead, I would, I would honestly recommend that because the pendant could break, could. Um, again, I wear this every day, 12 plus hours, and it obviously hasn't broken yet. But if you're concerned about that, I would just go for the full Cuban. At the time when I was buying this necklace though, this was the only one available that I could find at like a good price. Uh, now I think Alix is not so hot, I guess, so it's a lot easier to pick up. But uh, I definitely recommend this necklace. I just wish they were a little bit longer. Um, on other people, this does look a lot better because it actually like hangs down a bit, where unlike me, it kind of just, I mean, it's not really a choker, but it is quite tight. Like, look, there it is there, like it sits quite up here. Um, some people like that, some people don't. Obviously some people prefer necklaces that dangle a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love this piece. Um, I reckon I will replace it with a Chrome Hearts pa uh, paper chain necklace, most likely a 30 inch one, uh, just because I want to have a necklace that's a little bit longer. That's probably what I'll be getting in the future. But uh, yeah, a, a really awesome piece, the buckled necklace. Uh, I would get more Alix ones, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's the same look, isn't it? I'd be paying like hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get a necklace that looks exactly the same. So I feel like it's a bit 
bit of a waste of money if I just keep getting more Aleeks necklaces. <laughs> uh, and I do have one more Aleeks piece. This one from the Fall Winter 2020 collection. And it's got a huge box, which I think is really unnecessary because it's not even that huge of a piece. But I'll showcase it to you. What we have is the wallet chain from the Fall Winter 2020 collection. You can see I picked that one up from Essence. Uh, it was mega discounted. It was really, really on sale. And I picked it up around Christmas time. Um, I've actually damaged it. So here it is here. The Alix Studios wallet chain. It matches all their other chains, like especially my necklace as well. So it does actually look kind of nice when you have it all matchy matchy and it's all Alix. Uh, no Alix buckles or branding, but on one of these loops here, uh, there used to be a very, very small um, little pendant, I guess, that had Alix written on it. But what happened was, is I got this caught one time on a grated chair that I was sitting on. So one of those park benches that has the grates on them, I guess. And it got stuck in it and it pulled it off. So now it just looks like a normal wallet chain. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like wearing these through belt loops and things like that. It's a nice little piece. Um, again, I think it's still the same as all other um, Alix jewelry. It is... Uh, silver covered brass, although I haven't worn this as much to actually expose the brass, but it doesn't feel heavy enough to be actual silver and it doesn't maintain its heat. So just like clear indications that it doesn't feel like it's 100% silver. But uh, yeah, it's still a really solid piece that I like to wear uh, through belt loops. Eventually I will get a wallet that has a wallet uh, hole in it. Uh, uh, sorry, a chain hole in it, I guess. So then I can, you know, loop this through my wallet and then put my wallet in my back pocket or something like that. Um, I'm probably going to get a Chrome Hearts leather wallet in the future. But it's probably going to be pretty small because I don't generally use, like I have, I never have cash on me ever they've had coins on me so i really only use a wallet for cards um and even then i don't even really use my cards i use my phone so i think i would be getting like the smallest wallet possible if i was to get a chrome hearts wallet but uh yeah well um that's everything when it comes to the a leaks pieces uh will i be picking up more a leaks in the future I think it would have to be a piece that would really rock my world for me to be able to be like, yeah, I'm definitely going to get it. I'm really interested in Chrome Hearts jewelry these days. Um, it, it really is an addiction. Once you, you know, you get into it, you buy a couple pieces, you see the community buying a couple pieces, you're like, damn, I want more. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if I'll be buying any Alix in the future, but I'll definitely be wearing my Alix until it breaks or just get, you know, just gives out like it's just all faded away or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I can't see myself just hopping off this uh, jewelry just because it's no longer trending or interesting or anything like that because I still love it. It still works really, really well with a lot of the stuff that I'm wearing. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be continuing to wear the A-League stuff. But that is all the A-League stuff. So I guess we'll move into the Chrome Heart stuff. Okay, time to move into the Chrome Heart stuff, which we I, I don't have a lot of. Because, <laughs> you know, as you probably have seen, it is dumb expensive for sterling uh silver the chrome hearts in general is just dumb expensive but i do have a couple pieces and as i mentioned with the annual leave payout from my full-time job that i am no longer a part of i may have bought some more you'll have to wait and see it's maybe on its way from japan as we speak <laughs> so you may see an unboxing video in the future but yes uh the chrome hearts pieces that i have are the two rings that i wear on my right hand um, I will be getting more. The problem is, is that this is a, this is a US 10.75. This is about a US 10 and a half. This is about a US nine to nine and a half. I don't actually know what my pinky is. It's probably like a seven and a half or eight. And my thumb is a definite 11. So this symmetry ring here is an 11 and I can just get it past the knuckle. So I found out my thumb is a definite 11 and my left hand is basically the same. So finding Chrome Hearts jewelry in those sizes is a little awkward and hard. And especially if I do find one that is that size, it's a Chrome Hearts ring that I don't necessarily want. <laughs> it's, it's always the case. The stuff that I want is never in my size. The stuff I don't want is in my size. But I've only got two Chrome Hearts rings, but I do also have a Chrome Hearts earring that I recently unboxed on the channel as well, which I haven't been wearing a lot because uh, the stud that I got on my left ear, uh, the actual bridge of the stud is quite small. 
and this chrome hearts one it's got quite a thick uh, um bridge or stem or whatever you want to call it so whenever i put it in it stretches the hole in my ear and it's just a bit painful and it gets you know gives me a bit of a headache after a while so it's a slow process of me wearing that but we'll dive into the three pieces that i have so the first ever piece that i got was the classic oval ring and i picked this up from an australian secondhand designer boutique i'll try and get it up to the camera as much as possible it's got this amazing detail on the front here all carved out it's a huge chunk of silver uh it's oh god it looks bad when i bring it up to the camera it's meant to be completely oh actually i'll see if it'll if it'll focus it's been a bit hard to focus here but uh yeah it's just all silver sterling silver it's meant to be nice and shiny and reflective on the back of it but um i have scratched it quite a bit <laughs> but i kind of like chrome hearts when it's beaten up so it's got that look uh it's got i don't know if i can really showcase this this is going to be the struggle but it's oh there you go it's got chrome hearts um carved out of it in the middle in the inside there and down the bottom i don't know if i can showcase that at all down the bottom we've got 925 2002 now from what i know the dates on chrome hearts pieces isn't when the piece actually released it's when the design was made so you can have chrome hearts rings with 2002 but it was made last year because the design was made in 2002 uh, if i'm wrong bigger chrome hearts fans can correct me in that comment section below but this was my first chrome hearts ring the classic oval uh right here it's a beautiful piece absolutely lovely i noticed that after i bought it wisdom started rocking it as well on a lot of his you know uh fashion videos that he does and I also noticed that the price went up on them as well. So I was very happy that I picked mine up for the price that I did now that I saw the price going up. <laughs> now, I initially was planning to have it on this finger here, but I miscalculated. Um, I thought that the Japanese sizing equated to the diameter on the inside. Turns out it doesn't. So I thought it's 20 mil, it's gonna fit this finger fine. It was actually a size 20 Japan, which is around a US nine, nine and a half. And it actually fits my ring finger quite well so i've been wearing it on my ring finger it's not a huge loss for me because i have an, an uh, another ring that i was gonna get on my ring finger that actually works well quite here uh which is the classic oval star ring i really want to pick up the chrome hearts classic oval star ring which is essentially this same ring but instead of this detailing here it has a star on it uh it's it's a beautiful ring I, there was one in my size, but someone bought it, and I was like, ah, oh, jeez. And I, obviously in Australia, I don't live near a Chrome Hearts store, so I can't buy a brand new one. So I'm on the hunt. If you guys see a US 11 classic oval uh, star ring, send it my way, because I'm on the hunt for a US 11. I want to chuck it on this finger. Uh, now, the second Chrome Hearts ring that I got was from Find Hidden, um, the uh, boutique in California from memory. Uh, it has chrome hearts written on the inside of it, but I can't really showcase that too well. So there you go there, chrome hearts there, 925, and the year that this one was made, this design was made in, was 2003. So I have 2002, 2003. I need to find a ring that's 2001. <laughs> Work my way down, you know? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful ring. I'll try and showcase all the detailing up to the camera as much as possible, but it's beautiful. And because it's handmade, I noticed a lot of the, I, 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 I don't know what to call them, like the nipples on the inside of the crosses, the nipples, I don't know, whatever you call the little dots in the, the crosses there, uh, they're all different sizes, they all come in all different shapes and sizes, like actual nipples I suppose, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and it just, like the imperfections of the handmade detailing really make the ring, because it just adds a little bit of flavour to it, having them all different colours, and it's really hard to pick up uh it all the detailing with the camera not focusing and everything like that i'll see if i can uh it's not liking it is it no nah, it's having a bit of a moment yeah uh it's a fantastic ring i'll actually i'll try and bring it up to the camera with my hand there we go yeah the detailing is awesome absolutely love it uh as i mentioned though i do want to get the classic oval star ring and replace the symmetry ideally i want the symmetry on my thumb like this and then have the classic oval star here i think that would just look beautiful on my right hand like that like have the symmetry classic oval 
classic oval star here it would just look so sick i love the chunky chrome hearts rings but unfortunately that us 11 i'm still i'm still on the hunt for that us 11 but that is my two chrome hearts uh, rings the classic oval and the cemetery there they are there beautiful rings beautiful rings uh, moving on to my final chrome hearts piece we have the earring the jojo three piece earring features a nice little stud on the top there um, it's really hard to showcase the detailing i showcased it really well in a uh in the unboxing video but here we are here and then down below it has three chrome hearts motifs i'm gonna see if i can uh, spin it just a little bit let's see if it focuses on it it's probably moving a bit too much for it to focus on <laughs> actually you know what what i'll do i'll see if i can do that let's see if that works there we go beautiful as you can see three little chrome hearts motifs dangling down from the bottom of it we got a star uh, i can't remember what the middle one's called and then the top one also can't remember what that one's called i always forget the name of the chrome hearts motifs they've got so many different ones and so many different names uh, as i mentioned i'd love to wear it more on my right oh sorry on my left ear but uh the the bridge or whatever the hell you call that um actual part of the earring there that goes through your ear it's just um it's just really thick and it really stretches out my ear so i'm gonna eventually wear it more and more and more just to keep stretching out my ear but oof, a bit of a painful process but uh yeah unfortunately that's all the chrome hearts pieces that i have at the moment <laughs> i will be getting more in the future but it is expensive stuff and it is quite hard to come across in my size i have two rings the cemetery and the uh, classic oval and a little earring there but i do hope to get a lot more in the future but uh now that we've covered all the a leaks jewelry or the chrome hearts jewelry i'll just move into the unbranded uh misc jewelry that i have as well okay so the misc jewelry the stuff that is unbranded and i've just picked up uh is actually my left hand basically and my earring here so we have just some misc rings that i've picked up from just my local sunday market um i just went to this is when i first got into rings um that's where i went because i didn't know if i wanted to invest all this money into something that i thought that i may not actually like so i went to my local sunday market and just bought rings for every single finger that were like three five dollars each just to test it out just to test the waters to see if i would like rings and I fell in love with it. I loved having a ring for each finger. And hopefully down the line, I hope to have a Chrome Hearts ring each finger. But um, yeah, expensive. We'll have to work on it over time. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to get there. But uh, yeah, I'll just take off my uh, earring one here. And then we'll get into it. So uh, I'll showcase to you the cheap 3 to $5 rings that I bought from my local market. Uh, they are all stainless steel so they're not any rare metals or anything like that it all just had to it was all just to like really see how much they are i actually just realized i could stack them all on one finger so i'll try and bring it up to the camera just to showcase it to you they're all just silver black or i mean it was meant to be gold but it's obviously just like painted uh stainless to have that kind of effect i'll see if i can bring it up to the camera as close as possible so i've stacked them all on one finger i I don't think it's gonna focus. Camera's really not liking this like jewelry up close type deal. Yeah, it's really not liking it. Oh my god. Focus man. Just like come on. How hard is it? Apparently quite difficult. Well, we've got this first one, silver and black detailing. It features just a couple different lines uh in the center there. I'll see if it can focus on that one. No, I give up on that one. We've then just got uh, one with two little silver lines on top, a big gold line in the middle, and then two little silver lines on the bottom. I'll see if I can showcase that one. Oh, oh, there we go. See what I mean? Gold line in the middle, two silver lines on top and on the bottom. Next, we've got this one with like a kind of like a tribal pattern. I think I actually got this one from my dad. I think he just wasn't wearing it, so I decided to snag it there. So there's that one. See a little tribal pattern on the side focus but a being there we go a little tribal pattern on the side this one is annoying as hell because it always gets caught in fabric fabric always gets caught in a little tribal thing 
I'm never buying a ring with that kind of design ever again. It's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next we've got this little ring, uh, just a half and a half on top. It's got that uh, gold stainless again. And then on bottom, it's got the silver stainless. Fin oh, there we go. It's so worn. You can barely even tell that the top half is gold. The bottom half is a silver finish. I just wear them all the time and I'm really brutal on my stainless finger. And then last but not least, we have the big boy, the multi-layered one that actually does spin as well. But um. I mean, I can't really showcase that, but yeah, it does spin. It features a couple layers of color there. We've got um, silver, gold, black, silver, gold, black, I think is the... No, let's see if it even focuses on that. No, I don't think it's going to focus on that. Well, you get the idea. That's what it looks like. Let's see if it focuses on that. No, the, the camera is not lying here. It can't do it. <laughs> yeah, so that's all my just like misc rings and stuff that i just wear on my left hand um eventually i'll probably replace them all with chrome hearts rings um i do have like a plan of like what rings i want on my left hand but uh yeah as i've expressed many times in the video it's just expensive and finding the sizes is a bit tough i'm uh, moving on to the next bit of misc um jewelry we have this dangly earring with a little triangle on the top and then a little uh, Little triangle on the bottom there, little 3D triangle. Uh, basically, when I was thinking about shaving my head, I was like, oh, I wonder how like dangling earrings look on me. Like I want to go for that whole JPEG Mafia look of like bald or shaved head and then dangling earrings. So I bought this clip-on earring, this one here, the one that I just showed you, and tried it on my left ear and I was like, yo, that looks sick. So then I went down that route of shaving my head getting my ears pierced, and then eventually getting dangling earrings, which uh, was that Chrome Hearts one that I just showcased. But I still use this clip-on one just for my uh, right ear, because I don't actually have that one pierced at the moment. Um, and yeah, I just wear it all the time. It's a lot more convenient than actually putting a proper earring in, because you can literally just like clip it on, and it doesn't come off. I've been into concerts and stuff like that, and it's stayed on. It's pretty tough. I, I was amazed that it was able to stay on uh, and not fall off. But uh, yeah, that's really all my misc jewelry. I don't really have anything more than that. I usually stack them like this. I do the multicolored one and then I do, oh God, yeah, how do I have the whole pattern? So I have it as the silver and the gold one. And then I have the two silver lines, gold, two silver lines on my thumb. I've got the multi-layered one. And then I put the tribal one on top of that. And then I put the black and silver one on this one here, leaving these two fingers free which I hope to actually fill up in the future. And then I obviously grab my misc. I, I bought this off eBay. It was like three or five bucks or something like that with free shipping. Like it was like dumb cheap. And there we go. That's, yeah, that's, um, that's it. That's the whole collection. Um, I have three Alix pieces. I have the bracelet, I have the necklace and I have the wallet chain. Um, I have three Chrome Hearts pieces. I have the cemetery ring, the classic oval. It focuses on the chrome hearts literally instantly like that, but it can't focus on anything else. It, even the camera wants to showcase the, the good stuff. <laughs> uh, and then I've got the earring, obviously, and in the little box that I have it in. Uh, and then I have all the misc stuff that I've just bought from like Sunday markets and eBay and stuff like that, which is just all these rings here. Oh, I'd actually focused on those pretty well this time. And just that earring there. So yeah, um, oh, and obviously I have this stud as well. This is just some generic stud that I have. It's nothing too crazy. It's got, I don't know, some fake jewel and I don't know what metal it is. It, it's nothing significant. I guess that's another misc one that I can bring up. But uh, yeah, that's essentially my whole jewelry collection. I really hope to expand it in the future. Um, pieces that I'm looking to pick up in the future are the Chrome Hearts paper chain necklace in the 30 inch length because I a 30 inch length I've measured it I've got a tape measure and it comes down to about in between my chest so it'll look really nice um, I really want to get I've mentioned it many times the classic oval star for my finger here so I can move the symmetry of my thumb um, I really want to start filling this hand up with some Chrome Hearts stuff I want to get the art in a band Heart and the dagger ring. Um, I really want to get some Chrome Hearts spinners for my thumbs or the Pete Punk, the like really thick one. Um, 
basically just want to get a lot of Chrome Hearts jewelry, just because it looks really nice and it's really fun collecting it, and you know the community is really fun. Yeah, um, that's really what I'm looking for in the future. Uh, all sterling silver. I, I I don't do gold, as you as showcased in this video. I have nothing that's really gold. I mean, you can I suppose count the stainless steel stuff as gold, but I'm not a gold guy. I'm silver. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll change one day, but I'm pretty committed with my silver stuff. So those are the pieces that I want in the future. Those are the pieces that I have. Uh, I would love to hear any of your thoughts and opinions on anything that I've showcased in the video or any of the pieces or anything like that, or any of the pieces that I want to get, anything you've got to say at all down in that comment section below. But I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, what jewelry are you rocking? Are you rocking a lot of jewelry? Are you going to go down that path of buying a lot? Uh, I recommend starting with rings. I think it's a really good starting point. Uh, as I mentioned, you can do what I do and go do like Sunday markets and buy cheap rings. Have a look. If you like the look, work your way up to more expensive stuff, stuff that you like, or maybe like, you know, the aesthetic of that works well with your outfits. Um, or you could just buy what's popping at the moment, like Oblivion or uh, Chrome Hearts <laughs> and work your way that way. Um, yeah, but what are you rocking? Are you rocking necklaces, earrings? How are you going? I mean, honestly, I would, I would, I'm definitely going to be getting a lot more. I'm probably going to be finding new places to rock more jewelry. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's really fun. I really like them as accessories. Uh, they really elevate just a simple outfit if you're not really feeling like dressing up. Like if you just want to wear, uh, you know, a nice little shirt and a nice pair of pants and some nice shoes, um, a couple, couple accessories uh, can really elevate it. I like going overboard. I personally would love to have all my rings, uh, all my fingers covered in rings, heaps of bracelets and stuff. Like I want to go crazy with it. It's just fun. It's just fun wearing it all, <laughs> you know? But uh, yeah, if you are wearing any, what brands are you wearing? What pieces are you wearing? I'd love to hear what you guys are rocking down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys have any other video ideas or want me to do more showcase videos, uh, let me know in that comment section below and give me those three indicators that I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, a subscribe to the channel. Now, as mentioned at the start of this video, we're trying to hit a new subscriber milestone of 3,335 subscribers. Uh, hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of May. That's everything I've really got to say, guys. Uh, that is my whole collection as of the 15th of the 5th, 2022. Probably in a week's time, we'll add more jewelry to it, but I mean, that's the whole essence of collecting it, I suppose. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm definitely going to be getting more in the near future. So stay tuned for some unboxing videos to see more of it. And who knows, maybe further down the line, if you guys remember me, uh, or sorry, remind me in the comment section below, I'll have to do an update of uh, more pieces that I've picked up. But uh, yeah, until then, until the next Streetwear Dog video, until the next Sneaker Dog video, until the next Showcase video, guys, I'll catch you later.